Hi everybody, here is an introduction for organic chemistry. Now the very, very real, organic chemistry is simply the study of compounds that contain carbon, contain carbon. And the reason why it's important to study this is because almost every facet of life involves carbon. Um, so life and carbon, organic molecules, we really think of those synonymously. Now there are four common features that I want you to know about organic molecules. First, all organic molecules contain carbon. Remember, those have four covalent bonds because carbon has four valence electrons. So it's always going to have four bonds with it. Um, and most organic compounds also bond with hydrogen. And remember, hydrogen will have one bond. It has one valence electron. And to have a full valence shell, it needs a total of two electrons. Uh, so remember that, that's going to drive everything that we do. Number two, carbon can form single, double, and triple bonds with other carbons. And it's one of the things that makes carbon so special, is that it can do these different types of bonds with its same type of element with another carbon. So I wrote some really quick examples here for you. This is a good review with Lewis dot structures and covalent bonding. So I've got carbon with the four valence electrons, and I'm sharing one hydrogen electron you can see around this car uh, this carbon so when we pull together remember two electrons that are shared are one bond that's going to give me a single bond between the carbons and each of those six hydrogens if you need to review covalent bonding please go to the playlist that says bonding um, this is called ethane it has two uh, carbons and they're all single bonded so that's ethane. And we will go over naming. You'll also learn naming. Um, you can just look in the playlist that says organic. Next, for double bonds. So this is where we're going to share a total of four electrons. So the carbon here on the left shares two electrons. This carbon shares two electrons. When that comes together, remember again, two electrons sharing makes a single bond. So notice this is one bond and then the top two electrons is a second bond. There's your double bond. There's your double bond. Um, carbon, again, having a total of four valence electrons. There are one, two, and then there's the third and fourth, three, four. And so these will each have two, you can see hydrogens off of them. Oh, let's count a uh, total amount of bonds around each of these carbons. This carbon senses one, two, three, four, which would be two, four, six, eight valence electrons. And the carbon on the right, two, four, six, eight valence electrons, one, two, three, four bonds. Um, so as you're writing organic molecules, you quickly always want to uh, do a count of four bonds. You've got to see four bonds. This is called ethylene. Uh, the IUPAC name for it would be an ethene, an ethene. Again, we'll go over that. So you can just look in the playlist under organic molecules. <clears throat> okay, a triple bond. So again, carbon having four valence electrons is going to share one, two, three. This fourth electron is over here on the left-hand side and it will share with a hydrogen. So I'm sharing a total of six electrons, which means we have three bonds, two electrons for every bond. And there's your triple bond right there. Um, so this carbon senses two, four, six, eight valence electrons, one, two, three, four bonds. And then same for our right carbon. This is called acetylene. You've maybe heard of acetylene gas. They'll use this in welding. The IUPAC name for that is ethyne, ethyne. Number three, some compounds have carbon chains and others have rings. And they're both really important and you find them all over um, in your body. You find them all throughout life, these chains and the rings. Here's an example of propane. This would be propane gas. If you have a barbecue grill, a great big white tank that has propane gas in it, notice four carbons and we just fill in the hydrogens to make sure every carbon has a total of four bonds around it. Now this could become cyclical. You just take one end and wrap it and attach it. Um, so it looks like a box, looks like a square. And this is going to, oh, excuse me, this is butane gas. Forgive me, you guys, butane gas. Sorry, four carbons, that's butane gas. Um, and then if you take those same four carbons and wrap them around, it's going to be cyclobutane. So we add that word cyclo to it. And again, you can look at the naming and learn how to do that naming. Um, number four, organic compounds can contain other elements apart from carbon and hydrogen, and they have a special name. They're called heteroatoms. Our most common heteroatoms are going to be nitrogen, oxygen, and then the halogens, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodide. 
I'd also say you see sulfur um, a fair amount too. Uh, so you're going to just use the same Lewis dot structure covalent bonding rules um, to form A electrons around each of those compounds. You guys know halogens, they have seven valence electrons, so they'll only share one electron and then share um, an electron from its neighboring compound. So this will have one bond. These have one bond. Uh, oxygen, you know, needs two bonds. Um, sulfur needs two bonds. Nitrogen, it needs three bonds since it has five valence electrons. Um, again, if you need to, go to the playlist on bonding and review Lewis dot structures. Uh, I also want to remind you that when you are writing your organic molecules, fill in the lone pairs. Carbon and hydrogen will never have lone pairs, but the heteroatoms do have lone pairs. So I did two quick examples for you. Um, fill in those lone pairs. Also know the oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, they can have multiple bonds. Since they need a total of two bonds or three bonds, uh, you'll see multiple bonds with them as well. So here's an example. I've got carbon, oxygen, carbon. So the oxygen, there's its two bonds. Shares one electron, shares one electron. It's six, it has six total valence electrons. So it shares one electron, two, there's three, four, five, six. Notice it ends up with two lone pairs. Um, and it, it senses two, four, six, eight total electrons. Those come from two lone pairs and two single bonds. Uh, and then if you compare over here, I've got a carbon double bonded. So there's an example of a multiple bond, double bonded to the oxygen. Again, the oxygen, six valence electrons, it shares one, two, and then there's three, four, five, six. So you, it ends up having the two lone pairs and this time a double bond. So ultimately senses a two, four, six, eight valence electrons around that. Just be careful uh, that you're following our bonding rules um, to fill an octet that every atom has eight valence electrons and add the lone pairs where you need to, okay, to make sure that we're showing all of those electrons. Okay, very good. You're going to enjoy organic chemistry. This is when I worked, this is what I did. I was an organic chemist for huge carcinogenic compounds, semi-volatiles. Anyway, you're going to like it. Pretty cool. Have a good day and thanks for being here.